Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Ivanka Trump had three children in quick succession and impressed those around her by how quickly she went back to work after each of them. But her husband Jared Kushner was blessed and clueless. Jared allegedly said to a colleague after the birth of their second child, Joseph, in 2013, that he could not understand why people took so much time off around pregnancies. He added, after all, there are so many people helping. According to 2019 book Kushner Inc., his attitude had somewhat evolved from Ivanka's first pregnancy. When Arabella was born in 2011, he told the same colleague that he was amazed at how quickly Ivanka went back to work. Apparently, within days of giving birth, Ivanka was down in Miami closing a deal on the Doral Golf Resort and Spa for the Trump Organization. Jared said of his wife, she feels she has to prove herself to her father. Jared's colleague said he seemed surprised and impressed, but that was two years later he was far more dismissive. It appeared that he was starting to see Ivanka's unusually rapid return to work as the norm rather than an exception. Mr. Kushner also had zero awareness that he was born on third base, according to a former colleague, a phrase that ref refers to someone who was born with a silver spoon in their mouth but still thinks their standing in life is because of their own doing. Perhaps it is his lack of understanding of their privilege that Mr. Kushner assumed every mother has so many people helping. After giving birth to Arabella in 2011 and Joseph in 2013, Ivanka had their third child, Theodore, in 2016. Jared's comments might particularly sting Ivanka, sting Ivanka as she might suffer from postpartum depression after each of her pregnancies. She revealed on the Dr. Oz show, With each of my three children, I had some level of postpartum depression. It was a very challenging emotional time for me because I felt like I was not living up to my potential as a parent, as an entrepreneur, or as an executive. And I had such easy pregnancies that in some way, the just, juxtaposition hit me even harder. She added that it, that it was incredibly important to talk about this issue because it is something that affects parents all over the country. She and Jared worked hard to perfect the image of a young family mastering the work-life balance, using Ivanka's Instagram account to project this to the world. Despite his comments, Jared was at least proud of how hard his wife worked. After getting married, the couple first lived in Jared's duplex on Astor Place, then moved to a Trump building on Park Avenue and 59th Street. They like to entertain friends in their newlyweds home, mostly fellow silver spooners like Rob Speyer, Jamie Johnson, Jamie Johnson, and David Lauren or older moguls they aspire to be. Richard Mack recalled one of these dinner parties in which Ivanka insisted that libertarian and liberal meant the same thing. When Mr. Mack suggested they look it up, she said, I'll take that under advisement. According to author Vicky Ward, while both Ivanka and Jared were less volatile than their fathers, beneath their polish was a toxic mix of arrogance and ignorance. El Elizabeth Spears, who edited the New York Observer owned by Jared, said neither of them displayed an intellectual curiosity at all. Ms. Spears had numerous clashes with Jared during her time as editor because before she finally quit in 2012 after he allegedly failed to fulfill his promise to properly fund the paper. Some of his colleagues in real estate too reportedly found him unbearable to work with. He apparently did not seem too interested in real estate and was poor with the details. Nevertheless, he reportedly told the head of a leasing project in Dumbo, Brooklyn, if I had your job, I'd be so much better at it. That is it for today's news, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.